next in a few minutes. Well, you know that the U.S. credit rating was downgraded for the very first time ever last year when credit agencies determined that there is a risk that the U.S. won't be able to pay back debt. What you may not have heard is that only days ago the nation's credit rating was downgraded again. Ben has the reality check you won't see anywhere else. It is a story that has gotten almost no media coverage, which is kind of strange when you consider how much attention the first downgrade of the U.S. credit rating received. So here's what happened. Credit rating agency Egan Jones, one of the most important ratings firms in the world, downgraded the United States credit rating on April 5th of this year. And they did it over, well, what else? Concern over the sustainability of public debt. Egan Jones lowered the U.S. credit level from AA plus to AA. One reason why the story is important is because many people may not realize it was that same firm, Egan Jones, that first reduced the U.S. from AAA to AA Plus in July of 2011. And they did so just before Standard & Poor's did the same thing. All of it happened during the fight over raising the U.S. debt ceiling. You'll remember. Out of that came the promise of the Congressional Super Committee. Remember that? It would cut spending by $1.5 trillion over 10 years. But think about what that really means. Congress only needed to come up with $150 billion in cuts per year. It's literally a drop in the bucket, and they couldn't do it. So what does this latest credit rating downgrade mean? Well, the Egan Jones downgrade is the second in nine months, and it drops the U.S. two levels below its highest grade. So why did Egan Jones do it? Well, pretty simple. They say efforts to contain federal spending and borrowing have been unsuccessful. And the Congressional Super Committee, which we just talked about, seeking spending cuts of $1.5 trillion over 10 years, which, as I mentioned, only about $150 billion annually, was a complete failure. Certainly we're not uh, anywhere near Portugal or Greece, but at the same time, there's little doubt that the debt has grown much faster than the GDP. In fact, from 2008 to 2010, the debt has grown at about 24%, whereas the GDP has barely grown. I think it's about 1.6%. And the trends are continuing, unfortunately. And what you need to know here is unfortunate. U.S. lawmakers continue to fight over spending, and they get nothing done. Look, one of the reasons for Egan Jones' latest downgrade, they say the U.S.'s total debt as a percentage of GDP, meaning the money we owe up against how much our economy is generating, may rise above 112 percent by the end of 2013. That is a huge problem and a problem that cannot be ignored. And we the people must make sure that it's not. And that is Reality Check. If you would like to make your voice heard on the story, head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by searching Ben Swan WXIX.